in order to access the CyberSmart modules, you need to provide some details. You need to log in, create an account on the CyberSmart site. So first of all, go to CyberSmart and CyberSmart home is cybersmart.gov.au and click on the outreach area. So this is the professional development area that you need to be going to and where you need to um, get access to is the connect.ed area. So click on connect.ed and just down the page you'll see enroll online to access connect.ed click on that and you'll be taken to this window. <clears throat> if you already have an account with um, the Australian Communication and Media Authority that's fine you can log in there but if you don't you need to sign up for an account now. Click here for a new account and professional development for educators sign up for an account now and you will get taken to this form to fill out. This is a federal government website and there are some details that you'll need to provide. <clears throat> the as red asterisk of course is, is telling you that that's the essential information you won't be able to register without that. Um, this is an important part the school details you do need to add school details so if you type in here um, just okay uh, Griffith and it'll be it'll take you straight to a drop-down menu of a variety of Griffiths. So if you you can go to Griffith University Mount Gravatt, and that's our school that um, has been registered. So the information here it's independent university. You don't have to fill in any of this detail. You need to go down and, and give your consent for information if you want to receive informa other information about CyberSmart initiatives. Um, pretty good to tick yes because you do get some very good PD materials here. And you give consent um, for participation. And so although you haven't consulted with the principal, um, the university is registered with the CyberSmart. So just click on register and your details will be forward and it will be immediate you won't have any um, real delay in this one and you need to go and get cyber started um, so if I go click on register for events and I want to log in so I now have my username which is your um, email address you and your password that you provided and log in for events waiting 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 and I'll just go to switch to connect ed this is the important thing here haven't registered for any events that's okay but this is the button that you need to really click on so switch to connect ed and here we are in the module area and you can see that there are four modules 35% done on this one I have 30% done 25% done 25% done you don't have to complete all modules in the one sitting you can come back and as you can see um, uh, that just tells you how far you've gone and you will complete all, um, all of the modules. This is what your final screen should look like when you've completed all the modules. You can then go and complete the um, survey and then print your certificate and keep a PDF version so that you can upload it to your ePortfolio and therefore you would have completed this task.